if you're located near me within a 50 mile radius and you have a clean TL, it's not safe. I want the truth. I spent too much money on the turbo setup. Well, hey there. We have been driving the TL now. We decided to take the car home last night. I probably put on 80 to 100 miles on it now. And we're just gonna continue driving it to the city. And hope she breaks her in. RV6 is looking clean. Definitely opened her up a little bit more. Lines hitting. Oh, I'm gonna burn myself. They rerouted this wrong. That's what they did. But when the transmission got put back together, those lines either got bent or something. But now it's rubbing. Don't mean to start the video off like this, but you guys see these two lines right here? So transmission got pulled apart last week. That that slave line is supposed to go over the shifter like uh, counterweight thing right there. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, and I don't know how we missed that. Like it shouldn't be. I took a video for him to show what's going on before I bend these back and I'm sure he's gonna feel bad about it. And when I go to put the friction plate in and redo all the work again, that it's not gonna cost me very much. brought the base model inside and somebody is coming to pick her up so hopefully they're serious uh, they drove probably almost an hour to come out here they already tried lowballing me and I ignored it and they're still coming out here so hopefully I get what I'm asking I really don't want to sell this car car is super clean and we have one problem I can't find the title the missing title might be the reason why it doesn't leave today. It just hit 200,000 miles. Everyone says, oh, high mileage, high mileage. Bro, when I say this car is cleaner than my Type S over here, in some ways, look. Yeah, when you just look down there at the transmission, zero oil leaks going down the motor. Ah, uh, man. Just all around in great condition, guys. It's off or not. Look at that. Brand new battery. Just clean and well taken care of, guys.
people interested in the car just left and they really want the car. All right, you guys want the truth? I spent too much money on the turbo setup. So we do six. Did you do 62? Yeah. Perfect. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take pictures. Last day with the blue spot. Just got the turbo kit on there two months ago. Three five, yep. Yeah. Very nice. There she goes. Off to the club, boys. <laughs> Yo, is this Taylor? Yeah. Yeah, let me get one of them turbo kits. We got the base model sold. A little bit more cash in the pockets. I guess we've got the True Duel, and I need to finish this clutch situation, however much that's going to cost. I know today's video is a little bit short to update you guys on what's next. Uh, on the way, we have the Master Slave. We got the braided clutch line. We have all the fluids, transmission fluid, the friction plate. And we also have an OEM Luke clut or uh, Luke flywheel on the way. I know you guys and me really do not care about anything until I'm POV driving this and maybe doing some runs in Mexico. It probably won't be for another week and a half or two that that comes. If you haven't already, check out the True Duel RV6 pickup and install video. That was a lot more edited than this video. <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed about those lines getting bent up and routed the wrong way. It's been another video, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for sticking around to the end. We'll see you in the next video.